Uh, yes, sir, baby. On the radar, yo. Joining me today, my guy, my brother, Lil Perk on the building. You know what's up, man? Shout what's it up, man? What's so, with it? before we start the interview, I got to put the disclaimers in there for, for artists who, who people have seen on my show that interviews never came out. And they, what happened with your interview, uh, you were one of six six or seven artists who, yeah. unfortunately, my hard drive crashed and, and I couldn't get the interview off. They wanted like $2,500 to fix the hard drive. And we were both very devastated, but I promised you that I'd let you come back on the Facts. show. Facts. Um, we fresh off rolling that weekend, which is why I don't have a mm. voice. Crazy. And even though I don't have a voice, I was like, yo... Ain't no fucking way Lil Perko gonna be in the city and I'm not gonna get Lil Perko on nah, the show. So fact. welcome to the show, my brother. That's welcome fact, back. Bro. Welcome to the show. We on, on the radar, man. We about to go crazy. Facts. Yo, congratulations on hitting the Rolling Loud stage this past nah, weekend, appreciate man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, man. Definitely like, appreciate it. Like, when I saw you backstage, I was like... Oh shit And then it clicked in my mind About the record with Stunna Cause yeah. I spent my whole time In the press area So I didn't really get to see Too many performances And then when I found out That you came out with Stunna I was like Oh man this is beautiful Like yeah. I'm really happy nah, that, that, that he got to touch That 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 stage yeah. man I ain't gonna hold you that, that was like One of the craziest feelings ever Which stage was it? It was the uh, De Leon stage Oh it was a big stage It was yeah. the main It was one of the main stages Right? Yeah. So when you came out man <laughs> what was going through your head or was there, or was right, there nothing I, in your head where you just kind of blank like, I was, what was looking going on? like uh, okay you want to look, look at the crowd nah I'll be I was nervous I was scared I ain't gonna lie but it was the craziest feeling ever it felt like a dream like a, like a movie it felt like, like it was crazy did you ever look down at the crowd did you ever look at the people one time one yeah, time one time I looked <laughs> somebody said he's from Rochester he's from Rochester no way I swear to God everything I love so you got rec you got recognized on site like yeah, that too that's like, incredible I, can't, I only remember like one person face that I wasn't really look, trying to look at it paying no attention but you heard but you heard them say it you no know, yeah he pointed at me like I looked at him he said oh he's from Rochester he's from Rochester that's incredible man yeah, that's cr that's like one of the most like crazy you'll never forget stuff. you'll never forget that I'll never forget it and what I loved about Rolling Loud too is there was like a lot of representation from 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 the North too. Yeah. Because uh, shout out my guy Class Murder, he stopped by, yeah, chopped fact, it up with fact, me backstage. Fact. I saw Grise Griselda had a set. Yeah. Um, Upstate man, we on the way. Upstate, nah, y'all killing coming, it, bro. Y'all killing it, and to even like and for Rolling Loud New York City too, to have y'all there, yeah. it's different man, different. So congratulations nah, nah, on that. Appreciate it. Appreciate like it. next year, next year, you know, you gonna have one of the names right there on the lineup. Fact. It's gonna be Lil Pergo right there. Manifestation, man. That's what we manifesting in right now. Me and the whole team. So. We, we hoping for that. It's coming. It's gonna come though. And when we spoke in the last interview, you told me about the record with Stunner, and it did not disappoint. The record is fire. Yeah. And before, um, before this interview, I heard that y'all got like six, seven. How many records y'all got in the stack? We got. I can't even count. We got a lot though. So you know what I'm saying. We got. We got some though. Do you think that? So is there a possibility of a joint EP? Like, what's when? When are we gonna we, get some of these yeah, records, bro? I mean, it's on. It's really on me and him. You know what I'm saying. So whatever we. It's definitely gonna it's gonna happen though. That's all I'm gonna say. It's gonna happen for sure. So when y'all first met, so y'all met through Ricky. How did how did Yeah, we met we met we met through Ricky, but we I met him at um his his video that he actually like went crazy off Demons. Demons, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when I first met him. Uh we, yeah, but we met through Ricky though. And then the rest was history. Cause we, yeah, the rest was history. We we just became like we clicked instantly. We locked in and ever since then we just been, you know what I'm saying? We've been locked in, locked in. And even y'all sounds kind of go together really well yeah. too. You know what I'm saying? Like they they mesh really well, which you know you don't really often see with a lot of artists who just you know they meet, they do features, they work together, and like it yeah. sounds cool, but like it doesn't fully mesh. I feel like the two y'all have this really good like kind of yeah we unison sound that that, yeah. that goes crazy. Our sound is crazy, but we got like some love, so we got pain. Like and the stats is crazy. So like when we drop, like when we do drop this, because it's gonna happen. Because <laughs> uh, it's gonna happen exactly. It's gonna be crazy though. Like. We coming from all types of angles, all different types of angles. It's gonna be crazy. That's very exciting. So with like the with like the grow so you grew up in Rochester, right? Yeah, yeah. Your whole born life. and raised, born and raised. Shout out to Rock, shout out to the whole five eight five. So what type of music were you listening to growing up that kinda inspired and, and kinda led you to become the artist that you are today? Um to be honest, all all, all genres, all type of music. Okay. But like my main artist that I was listening to growing up was like G Herbo, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like people like that's my favorite rapper, so I was listening to like him a lot. If I had a if I had a dollar for every New York artist who comes on here and says G Herbo, I would be a very rich man. You think so? Yeah, I think it's just because you know what? It's like it's like he makes like it's it's kind of like how we draw the comparisons of Chicago drill to New York to New York drill. I feel like there's like a lot of similarities between Chicago and New York yeah. that like New York artists are able to relate to Chicago music. Chicago uh, people in Chicago are able to relate to New York music. I think that that's why it kind of meshes so well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not 
that that's that's yo, he he one of the artists like that got me through like everything and taught me to be like humble, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like like it, I don't know, he just something about the man, man. His his music is very relatable. So so when you were listening to all these genres growing up, did that kind of influence the music that you make now? Because yeah. even the music you make now doesn't really stick to like one particular thing. Like you, yeah, I come from like all different angles. I try not to be in one box. You know what I'm saying? And I get that from like Tupac, Biggie. You know they talk about everything. Like Brenda's mm-hmm. got a baby. They talk. I look at like the legends. You know what I'm saying? Like I try to like that's the type of music I try to listen to till this day. You know what I'm saying? Right. So like. With that being said, right, and with the music you have out now, do you feel like down the line you're gonna try to touch some other genres? You're yeah, gonna try to yeah, move definitely. I love. Like, I got. I got dance hall stuff on the low. Like you got dance hall records, bro. I'm Ain't no fucking you. way. You know, I, man. <laughs> I want to hear. I need to hear that after this. I need to hear your dance hall right, record. Bro, I'm telling you, like I'm. I'm not a one dimension artist. I will never be in the box. You will never be able to tell where I'm coming from. Who are the dance hallers that you would want to put on the one of those records? Um, Tim's. Tim's. Yeah. Tim's. Her Tim's? music is yeah. crazy. Like. Whiskey too. Whiskey. Okay, yeah. so more Afrobeats than, yeah, than dancehall. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. That would be crazy. You got some Afrobeat records too or not? Nah, nah. So you I wanna... think I got one. I think I got one. You got one Afrobeats record. Yeah, I think I got one. So I thought that was that was going crazy outside. Yeah. My bad. I had to. I, I wanted to make sure we was good. <laughs> um, so with like the new music, right? Uh, I know we were talking about. So aside from like the the collab EP uh, with Sunna that we kind of were mentioning about, what are what are you working on now? Because I know we got a new single uh, right out now. Right now we just like we singling it out right now. You know mm. what I'm saying? We got probably a little EP coming. You know what I'm saying? Some some give them warm them up. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But we we just working right now, hit record after record. You know what I'm saying? We just locked in the studio. Whatever happened, happened. And I love the I love the cover art for the for the in this game single because oh yeah appreciate um because that was your graduation picture yeah, yeah, right yeah yeah definitely. which you know congratulations nah, on that appreciate it, appreciate it. um and it's really dope when I when I talk to young artists who 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 finish school and whatnot because school like, is first make sure y'all stay in school go all the way don't give up bro no matter how hard that shit get it was hard for it was hard for me you know what I'm saying mm. but I'm glad I had like people that like shout out to all the girls <laughs> and all my bros who let me copy off their homework. <laughs> they 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 helped me get there too. You feel me? Well, I mean, you can say that now because uh, you know. Yeah, you it don't already, matter now. Would you yeah. would you ever think about continuing your schooling down the line? Is that something? Yeah, that yeah. You're I, open I to? definitely want to go get my um doctor's degree and stuff like that. Oh, you want to get a doctor's degree? Yeah, okay. I want to go all the way, but I'm just I'm focused on music right now. But I'm right. definitely going. I'm definitely going to accomplish that. Mm-hmm. That's just something I want to do. You feel me? Did you ever think you'd be doing the music full time when you were kind of like in school? Did you think you would kind of take a different route? Yeah, in yeah. Life? No, no. I knew I was going to do. Music once I started, like I got hurt in football and stuff. Cause I I used to be an athlete. Right. Like I got hurt in football, basketball. I was all right. You know what I'm saying? I don't really. Once I had one good year, it was over after that. After, I, the, after had to, I knew I had to find something to do. Mm. And you know, that's when rapping came. So after your injury, you just kind of went like right in the booth and you were like, that was it. Was well, history. at first it started, I was rapping on my iPod. I rapped over A Boogie, his whole, his whole, uh, his first album. I think his artist. The artist, it's not artist versus art. Somebody said this the other it's day. And I keep the forgetting girl, the, the girl one with, on the, top pian- of with the, pian- the piano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I keep forgetting I the name the, of that project. I got, if I could find the iPod, I got a, I got every, I got you got every a, single song <laughs> to that, to every single song. But your own, but your own spin on shit. Yeah, okay. definitely, definitely. But he was one of the, like the first biggest influences, like to, to get me into rapping. You know what I'm saying? Right, music for the ladies, something with some pain yeah, behind it. In a time you when you were like, when you were dealing with like your injury, I'm sure you were kind of like in that space too. Facts. I was young though. I was fourteen. I was young. I was a kid. Yeah, I remember a boogie back in that time because I think I was, I was eight, eighteen, nineteen, and I just started working in the industry. And, I, and a boogie just was on the double XL freshman cover. Watching the hold that a boogie had on like yeah, a like, boogie when he like came out, it was crazy. crazy, bro. Like everybody related to that shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. He was going crazy. So for you, that was kind of like the the big inspiration to get back into the to get into the game and to kind of yeah. make that type of sound. Yeah, with these new singles, what are you? So we're leading up to this project, and I remember I think last time you told me you have like a couple projects worth of music in the stash. That yeah, you I got like I got, drop. I got over over eight hundred songs. If you want to be technical, so what are you? So what are we waiting on? You just kind of waiting on fine tuning yeah. the right records, kind of getting everything. Yeah, it's together all about properly. you know what I'm saying timing. You feel me? Mm-hmm. It's about timing. Because the deluxe. When did the, the the deluxe drop? It dropped. Early this summer, right? Or was it in the late what, spring? The, um, Southside, baby. Yeah. I didn't see what had happened was my whole Apple shit was like, it was fucked up. I just took that account. I had two accounts. Oh, to the... Yo, you I do got have two, two accounts. accounts. I got it down, though. I got it down. I got one account now, but I had two, so... 
I uploaded my shit. I, I fucked my shit up. You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't really no album. The Southside Baby was the actual album. But I dropped... It, it said it was dropped in 2020, but I really dropped that in 2018. I was 14 years old when I made that. Right. You know what I'm saying? So my like my sound now is way different. Dude, we got to get your Apple Music correct. Yeah. No, nah, my shit is... It's, 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 in, it's in place. Now we had to get it set up, but it was some it was some bullshit. We, it took us like 10 months to get that shit together. Because I was even looking earlier, and I saw and I saw that there was two, two uh, accounts, and I was like... I don't remember there being two accounts before. Yeah. Yeah, it was some bullshit. It was some bullshit. But we good, though. Have you ever had to deal with, like, leaks? Has that ever been an issue for you? Leaks? Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. Hell, yeah. I done had to cut some of the bros off, all type of shit. Niggas, really? Niggas want to leak music and shit like that. Or leak, leak niggas shit for the bitches. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For the, for the, for the females, my bad. <laughs> Shit like that But when When those things happen How do you kind of like Go about it Cause you I know, get all tight That are- shit makes me so mad mm-hmm. Why are you leaking my song bro Me personally I know how it feel To be an artist So I would never leak Nobody's song But I don't know I don't get why people Do shit like that Like bro You got the song If you got it bro That's for you But I had to learn Everybody can't You know what I'm saying Not everybody can be Trusted with Holding the me? songs Yeah. You feel me So you just kind of like You were just like Alright yeah. Y'all done we cut off. We circle. Got to keep the circle small. Yeah. Is that something? Is that a we lesson? Started, it's crazy because we started off with like, <clears throat> it was like 50, 50, 50, 50 of us. No cap. It was mad of In us. In your circle? Yeah. Okay. It was like mad of us. You know what I'm saying? And I was only like 10, 11. You feel me? And that's, is that like a lesson that you've learned like over the past like couple of years? Like yeah. you just got to But we was it. young. I was young though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just, you feel me? Being a kid, but everybody ain't your friend though. But as you start leveling up, you kind of start to realize certain yeah. things, and you're like, "All right, cool. If I'm gonna move, if, if I'm gonna, you know, make these trips to New York City, make these trips to California, do yeah. all this, do that, do these records with, you know, people like Stunna, you got to kind of start keeping that shit kind of yeah. tight and close to the chest and yeah, yeah, yeah. away from it's other all people. About, it's, a, it's a it's a different type of ball game when it's when it's real deal. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Versus like just regular local shit. Right. And talk to me about this chain. So I know that's oh yeah, this the underdog chain. The underdog chain. Yeah. We the underdogs. You feel like an underdog. Yeah, definitely. In the, towards the industry and stuff. But I, I kind of feel like an underdog, but I also kind of feel like my time just ain't come yet. But when it comes, it's going to be crazy, though. But, but I the feel underdogs like, always win, though. And especially you touching the wrong last stage. I feel like, you know, that, that, that yeah, in that's itself like a, is like, that's uh, like, like one of those stepping like stones. Down here, like the other way out there. Right, For like sure. it's like one of those stepping stones that you kind of like got to, that you take and you're like, once you get there, you're like, all right, cool. Like, this is fire. Yeah. Now, I, and honestly, next another back to that real life, it was the, it gave me a humble feeling like, I went back to the studio that night and made eight songs. In the city. Ask Ricky. I kid you not, right hand of God. I love that. Because it shows Because I like, would never get comfortable. Mm-hmm. Even if I was to win a Grammy, I'm not gonna get comfortable. I'm I'm not, I will never get comfortable. It don't matter how big I get, how much money I get, none of that. I will never ever get comfortable. And I personally feel like that's like the fault of like a lot of artists. Like, yeah, artists a lot of these rappers want to get comfortable, want to go to the strip club, want to party. Nah, we we get a Grammy, we get some of the, you know what I'm saying? St- shit like that. Nominations, we going back to the studio. We got work to do. Yeah. We ain't, you know what I'm saying? We ain't celebrating nothing. Yeah. Like, you go you go do the performance, right? And then most people will go out and celebrate after, like, oh, I just, you know, I did Rolling Loud. I did this, ah, ah, whatever. Yeah. But instead, you're like, nah, you know, I'm going to take this feeling that I got right now. Yeah. I'm going to make some music behind it. And I think that yeah. people don't really think about how. We got to, me, I'm, I'm, I'm mentally strong. You get what I'm saying? Mm. Like, I'm, I'm mentally strong. Like, nothing ain't going to never make me comfortable. Like, nothing. Like, nothing. You know what I'm saying? I done been through the worst of the worst. Even down to like losing people, like losing your loved ones. I'm still in the studio. At my grandma's funeral, I shot a video. Like it's real like I'm gonna always work. You know what I'm saying? Right. Work over everything. Yeah. I'm the same way. Look at yeah. this. Look, we did rolling out. We did forty four interviews and then boom, we here today. Right. My God. I just gotta keep going. Gotta it, keep don't, it don't stop. At all. And at me all. and you, we on the we on the rise together. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So when we do an interview later down the line, when we both, you know what I'm saying, up there we're gonna Damn. That's yeah. That's why. I, that's 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 my that's my motivation. You know, seeing people who've come on the show level up and kind of take it to new heights. Like seeing what yeah. everybody's done over the past year, from like people who I've interviewed from this year, last year, the year before. Seeing where people are now, it's like you you see that shit and you're like, oh yeah, like that's the motivation too that's to kind of keep going because you never know. Yeah. You never know when it's gonna be your moment too. And that's I know fair. we spoke about. I think last time, what's the connection with you and, and Benny? Because I think we spoke about it last time. Like he he shout y'all co-sign. Yeah you. yeah yeah. He he. He he pulled up to this. Uh, this was back when I think it was 2019. Oh, so you were? I was 15. 15? I was 15. Yeah. Damn. He pulled up to the stool. At first, I didn't know who he was. And then he, <laughs> all I hear, oh, that's Benny. That's Benny. I ain't know. You know what I'm saying? But he dropped some of the most greatest jewels on me. One of the ones that I will never forget is he he talked about opportunity. Mm-hmm. You got to take opportunities. 
know what I'm saying? You can't be in it for the money. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to take certain opportunities. Right. You feel me? Opportunities is way more. Opportunities and relationships is basically what he was saying to me. But right. that one, oh, that he gave me a lot of dudes, but that one really stuck with me, though. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I think the relationship shit is important, too. Because even, like, these interviews is, like, we're doing yeah. interviews and it's content, but it's also a relationship. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Shout out to bro, he's doing his thing. Too. Cause then even when you see people at Rolling Loud, you know what I'm saying? Like you yeah. and I know each other, we see each other, it's right, all right, love. Right, I see right, Ricky, right. it's all love. Right, I see right. all these other artists who have been on my show who I watched quite literally start from the bottom and now they're performing at Rolling Loud. And it's like it's kinda yeah. it's kinda crazy seeing right, that right, too. Right. You know what I'm saying? So like I think that the relationships part of that is like probably the most important of it too. And the opportunity, you just gotta, you gotta take every, like like Benny said, like when you see that opportunity, no matter what you're doing, like you like, oh, I'm off the stage. I got this energy. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You got that feeling. Fuck it, go to the, you never know yeah. what, what that's gonna help you make at the studio. You right, never know right, what right, what's gonna right. come from that at the end. Yeah, I'm, I'm, when I see me, a lot of people there get like, and I ain't trying to compare myself to nobody, but a lot of people there accomplish something and they wanna go party and stuff like that. Me, I come some. I want to go work more. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to work more. Like, I'm trying to get it. Like, I'm trying to grind. Word. Ask the guys here. I be booking like sometimes. There be weeks where I'll book like twelve interviews. No, not twelve interviews. I'm dragging like six, seven interviews in a week, and I'll be here almost every day. Yeah, Just because crazy. I'm like, I'm like, yo, fuck it. And then I then I get backed up for like three weeks worth of interviews. And I say, how I don't even know how you be having the energy to do that. Though, how right? do I have the energy to do it? Yeah, I don't even crazy. know how I, I have the energy. Pure pure adrenaline to get me through half these interviews and these freestyles and shit like that. But it's like the love of what you do. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, yeah, I love definitely. doing this. I love definitely. this show. You got show. a passion for it. Exactly. I built this show from literally not from literally like quite literally nothing by myself with, with the barely any help. So yeah. that's why I want to see it succeed and that's why I want to see it grow because it's like it started it started quite literally from where a lot of artists start from nothing. So it's being able to just be here every day and grow it and do freestyles and do dope interviews and go to Rolling Loud and fucking lose my voice doing 40, 40 something interviews. Yeah. Just, you know, it makes That's it, crazy. It makes and it I seen you it. back there. You was on the move too. I seen you. <laughs> you like, yo, yo, we're going yeah, to set it up Monday. Uh, it's not, kept moving. I'm like, I, oh yeah, he son. doing his thing. He trying, you know what I'm saying? Stick and move. Yo, I think the craziest thing was where I had like class murder over here. I had Koyla Ray over here. I had Tyler, Tyler Yahweh over here. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, okay, Koy. Okay, three minutes. Okay, Tyler. Yeah. Okay, three minutes. Okay. To, oh, take the pictures. Melvani runs in. Okay, we take pictures with Melvani and Tyler Yahweh. Okay, yeah. class, come on. And after class leaves, I have somebody else. I have like the holiday coming. And I'm like, geez, there was like there was like a 15 minute period a 15, 20 minute period where I did like four or five interviews. And I remember after it was over, I was like, I don't know how I did that. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> I don't know how I did that. But yeah, like it, it goes back to those are all opportunities. You know what I'm saying? What am I going to do? I'm going to see all these artists back there and I'm just going to be like, nah, fuck that. I don't want to interview these people. Yeah. Like, nah, I, I love all these people. Right. And even if I don't know them that well, I'm going to do the interview anyway because you get to know them. Right, right. You build right, a relationship right. with someone. Facts. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sure you probably shook some hands at, at Rolling yeah, Loud yeah, of people yeah, that you yeah, don't know. Yeah. yeah. But you might see those people down the line at the show. I was surprised or, even some of down to like some of the ARs that was back there who, who knew who I was. Like, really? Okay. Yeah. Like, I'm like, whoa. Like, whoa. Like that's crazy. Like it was just I don't know. It was it was a, it was a, it was a lot to soak in. You know what I'm saying? Like right. at one time because it went from like this, and then it, like I'm performing that role loud. Like, what the fuck? Like bro, this shit I'm, crazy. I'm right. I'm right there with you. Like shaking the hands of people who like, oh yeah, I know you from this, 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 and this. I'm like, oh shit, I, I didn't even yeah. know. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. You never know who paying attention. You that's never know. Who, you never know. I'm watching y'all. I know y'all watching this. Never I know, know y'all paying attention. That's why you gotta keep working. Like, always work you know you really never know who watching like, never. literally that, that i forgot who gave me that advice somebody gave me that advice a long time ago and it was an artist and i don't remember who said it it was somebody who came to see angie one day they said that you'll never you never know who's watching you someone's always watching you even though they won't ever say that they're watching you facts i don't know who said it but i thank them for that because i always act like somebody's watching now you know what i'm yeah. saying that's how you got to move you got to move like people are watching you people watching your every move like paying attention to what you're doing music interviews whatever well before we sign off here so we got new music on the way what when's the next drop what can we expect i'm out to shoot a vid tonight so tonight yeah what we shooting a vid for we can do this song i got called overdose is about to go crazy okay dope dope when are we when can we get that when are we expecting that like a week or two like a week or two okay yeah. so if it's out right now make sure you go check out overdose out now yeah um some other music on the way project on the way soon yeah, top 2022 crazy. before the end of this year what you think probably 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 end of this year end of this year okay probably or top 2022 you know what i'm saying around there yeah it, within a few months Next you'll couple get a drop you know what i'm saying after a couple drops we want to see what how the singles do first and whatnot yeah. 
they going crazy though. Know, you know what I'm saying? Word. Getting up there close to my first million. So going crazy. New joint with Stunner, yeah. um, possible project. You got a lot of stuff coming. Yeah, just working. Well, I'm excited to see you grow. I'm excited that you were able to perform this weekend at Rolling Loud. It was cool seeing the videos after the fact, even though I didn't get to see the performance firsthand. It was cool getting to see the pictures and the videos. Yeah, of y'all, yeah, yeah. y'all killed that. Congratulations again. I appreciate it. Um, anything you want to let the people know before we sign off here for the day? Um, shit, uh, this camera right here. What's wrong? This one right here. All right. You could be anything in this life you want to be if you put your mind to it. Put your mind to it. Go at it. Stay at it. Don't give up, no matter how hard it get. You could be anything, I promise you. Look what I'm doing. I'm I'm coming from Rochester, and the people who know how how it is to get it from Rochester, they know mm-hmm. that shit different. So, put your mind to it. You could get it. I promise. Stay focused. Boom. There you have it, man. Little Perko on the radar. Gang. My guy. Appreciate you.